A typical robot requires 6 degree of freedom in 3D space. The first three joints helps in reach and the other three joints are in the wrist for orientation. However, the configuration is based upon first three joints only. That is for the joints helping in the reach of the robot. Now, as per the robotic configuration is concerned, corresponding to the reach or the first three joints in the robot, we have four basic configuration. First is rectangular or Cartesian. Second is cylindrical. Third is articulated. And fourth is spherical or polar. Let's understand them one by one. First we have rectangular or Cartesian configuration. In this system, there are three basic movements along three rectangular axes. These motions are provided by rectangular box type sliding joints. The vertical motion is provided by the joint on the vertical column of the robot's base. The two horizontal motions are provided by the joints on the horizontal arms in which one is mounted on the column and another is on the arm. This configuration is suited for straight line movements and side to side movements. These robots are used for pick and place operation as in material handling, machine loading, etc. Second we have cylindrical configuration. Here there is one rotary and two linear motion of the robot. The rotational motion in this type of configuration is provided by rotary joints between the base and the column. The vertical movement is provided by the linear joint between the column and the horizontal arm. Now the horizontal motion is because of the sliding joint in the arm. The motion envelope of the end point is cylindrical. This type of configuration is suited for motions around fixed base as in assembly operation, material loading or machine tool table. This kind of configuration is also utilized for spot welding. Third we have polar or spherical type of configuration. Here we have two rotary motion and one linear motion of the robot. There is a rotation between the base and the column and also between column and the arm. The linear motion is given by the sliding joint on the arm. This kind of configuration is used in spot welding, gas welding, arc welding and machine loading operations. And last but not the least, we have articulated or revolute type of configuration. Here we have three revolute joints or three rotary motion. This configuration is also called anthropomorphic or joint arm and it resembles a human arm. The base revolves around the vertical axis. The base and arm that is the shoulder and another arm that is the elbow have rotary joints. This type of configuration is used for spray painting, arc welding, gas welding, material handling in die casting machine and many more.